Ladies, this is Jane Lurea. I am an independent designer with Origami L number 1186 and this video is going to be sharing with you how I do my pictures for my locket. And um, I did this little tutorial with my team at convention and so now more of them are showing me the results of what they've learned that night and then um, our other team members are trying to figure out like what is it, what is it, you should do a video. So here it is. Uh, for those of you that have been following me on my page for Facebook and for my Instagram for my Lockets and Charms uh, under the Lockets and Charms um, username, this is how I do it. So first off, um, I can only speak for the iPhone because that is what I have. This is an iPhone 4S, and um, but I have seen this done on an iPhone 4 and also iPhone 5 that what I'm about to tell you how to do your pictures of your lockets for your personal use can be done uh, based on what I know. So anyway, here we go. First off, you would have to go to the app store and look for an app called Camera Plus. And uh, Camera Plus is this app right there. It's kind of blurry. But it is camera with a plus sign on it. So, um, I'm not sure if it's $2.99 or $4.99 for the app. It's um, it's been around for a while, and this is what I have. And there has been other ones that have come out that people say are is better or are better for them, or even free. But this is what I know. This is what I'm going to keep using, and this is what um, I actually like to use for my pictures. So anyway, so get the app of Camera Plus, download it, and then when it's on your phone home screen, go ahead and open it up, like so. I have 800 pictures in there, so it's kind of slowing the phone and the app itself. But um, so you can see me right there. So you can go ahead and take a picture like this. And then you would just tap right here, and then you would get what they call a light box. And on that light box, you can go ahead and click on it like so. And then you can go ahead and edit right here. And with this edit, you have no filter and then clarity. And then you could do auto editing screen and then there's flash and there's all these kinds of settings that you can do uh, to make your picture look the way that you want it to look let me go ahead and use a different picture than this one so I'm gonna go ahead and choose so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one I took this earlier because I wanted to share with you guys what I got at Target but I haven't posted it up yet so, but I got this shirt at Target for $10 because my other teammates told me that there was owl shirts at Target for $10. So we made a run over there while we were in Ventura and found them. I found two. Okay, so anyway, so this is a picture that I've taken on Camera Plus. And I can go ahead and choose the first button on the bottom. It says Edit. And then it gives me all these different options on the bottom. These are different filters. So there's clarity, there's auto, flash, what is that right there, backlit, dark and cloudy shade, all kinds of stuff. And then what I like to do is right here on the bottom, I've chosen borders. So it gives you all these kinds of borders and my preferred border is a thin white. So I don't know if you could really see that, but it's added a thin white border around the picture. and. The reason why I like the border is not only because it looks cleaner with a thin white border, but right here on the bottom, you have the ability to add a caption. And when I take pictures, I do take pictures because I like to take pictures, but also because I want to be able to market my things without blatantly marketing it or marking up my picture as well. So it gives you the option to do a caption. And since this is something that I'll post on Lockets and Charms, I usually just put my Twitter name in there. I put my Twitter name at Lockets and Charms and then um, I can press done and on the bottom you will see a little caption of this right here. So what I do from there is once I am done with my pictures I can go ahead and press done. On the bottom right there I would go ahead and save. So I'm actually saving it to my actual phone and once it's saved to my phone I can go to my camera roll then you will see right there the picture itself. And then from here, I can go ahead and upload it to Facebook. I can upload it to my blog, Pinterest, or anything else like that. And I'll just share with you whatever the picture is. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and upload it to my Facebook wall for Origami Owl, which is facebook.com forward slash lockets and charms. 
So when you see this picture, you could actually say, oh, that was a picture that she did a Camera Plus tutorial on. So again, the app is called Camera Plus. It is a couple of bucks. You can go ahead and take the picture, edit the picture, crop them out. Um, you can go ahead and edit the lighting to it and then add a border and then also add a caption on there so people can trace it back to you. So anyway, that is it. If you have any other questions, you know, you can go ahead and um, send me a message or leave me a comment below and I will answer them for you. And um, that is it. So questions or anything, I will talk to you later. Okay?